This week I've been trialing black lighting. Black lighting is using black light at night to attract bugs. I've seen a couple of videos online of people using black lights to catch beetles and moths and even queen ants. And so I thought to myself, I'm going to try this. So I went onto Amazon and I bought myself a black light with the hope of catching queen ants in my own backyard. If this works, it would be a game changer. I couldn't wait to see what nuptial flights I'd be lucky enough to attract and the results of this experiment may shock you. You too can create a queen ant attracting setup at home. To replicate this, you do of course need a black light. I bought a 50 watt light off Amazon for about $40 Australian. Now, I think that 50 watts is definitely enough power, maybe even too much power. It's probably unnecessary really to have a 50 watt light. Definitely any more than that would probably be too much, especially if you live in an urban or suburban area. Everything else you need, you probably already have at home. You need a white sheet or blanket. This is what the black light projects onto. Now it's best to use a light colored sheet like white as this reflects the light better when compared to a dark sheet. You also need a table or some sort of stand to hold the sheet in place. I have experimented and found using the fence to hold the sheet works best for me, but you could lay it on the table or on the ground if you wanted to. My theory is if I project the light onto the sheet and above into the bushland behind my house, then that would attract more insects. Ideally, if you have a sheet lying flat on the ground and a sheet hanging against a fence or a stand, this would maximize your chances of seeing what has been attracted to your light. Over the past 10 days, I have set this up and had wildly different levels of success and the amount of insects that have been attracted to my light. My first exciting day was a couple of days ago when a termite nuptial flight had discovered my black light. Something I have never noticed before was presented in front of me. It was almost magical. It was like the elates had prepared something just for me. They were dancing in the light. The spiraling shadows of their fluttering wings captured my attention as they eagerly sought for each other. I wanted to share with you the winner of the 350 subscriber giveaway. Yesterday on Instagram, I did a live video drawing out the winner. The lucky winner is Meme Thief 12. Congratulations, Meme Thief 12, on winning an Oz Ants acrylic nest. I want to thank everyone for entering. I love doing these giveaways and I intend on doing more as this channel grows. If you missed out, know that there will be more opportunities to come. Until then, I love hearing from you all in the comment section. It's great to see where you're from and what ants you keep and how long you've been keeping ants for. I also want to acknowledge how much I appreciate you all for liking my videos. It's a great gauge for me to understand what you like and what you enjoy. It's really encouraging and I'm glad you're enjoying these videos as much as I love making them. Now let's get back into what else I found with my new black light setup. The night after the termite nuptial flight were proved to be the night I have been so eagerly anticipating for. Upon further inspection of the sheets, suddenly what felt like a bird flew and hit me on the head. Moments later I realized what hit me was actually crawling on my back. Turns out it was actually a really big bug, about the size of a rhinoceros beetle. This thing was massive. It's amazing how the light truly brings out all insects, big and small. Some of these insects that I'd seen in the past couple of days, I have never seen before. It was so cool looking at all these new bugs. Finally, after hours of trialing, I spotted my first queen ant, a pale legged sugar ant, accompanied by another one. Two queen ants at the same time. This was amazing to finally catch a queen in my own backyard. Shortly thereafter, more queens were flying onto the sheet. I noticed whilst watching them that they quickly fly away after landing. They only land on the sheet for about one minute at a time. So this prompted me to trying to have two sheets instead. One lying flat on the ground and the other hanging up on the fence. This seemed to help those insects that were hesitant to attach themselves to the sheet on the fence. And it also allowed me more time to inspect what was around.
After over a week of testing out the black light setup, this is what I found. I'm going to keep experimenting with this black light setup. When I find more Queen Ants, I'll update you of what I find in later videos. Thank you again everyone for entering the competition, for subscribing and for building the ant keeping community. I love seeing more people joining in and learning together. If you made this far into the video and you haven't already subscribed, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to get weekly videos and all things ant related. I would love to know from you, what prize would you like to see next time to win? Write your answer in the description below. Thank you everyone, I'll see you on the next video. Until then, happy ant keeping.